Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's I, Chris Carter, CEO of AppRoyal. Still here at the Inc. 5000. Um, very fortunate. Uh, as you know, we were named the 120th ranked company uh, here at the event. And so uh, we've decided to bring in, as you know, over the last couple days, we've been talking with other CEOs, what they're getting out of the event, what it's about, how their companies work, and um, what they've been doing here at the event. So um, I'd like to introduce Jude. And Jude, if you can introduce your company a little bit and tell us what you do, and then let's, uh, I'll ask some questions. Thank you very much, Chris. My name is Jude Ramaya. I'm CEO of Impiger Technologies. Yeah. We help uh, customers build mobile engagement solutions with their, for their customers and for their employees. Uh, we developed a lot of uh, productivity applications, CRM applications, ERP applications, and also we have helped customers move to cloud uh, to support this mobile channel. Excellent. Yeah, and that's a big thing. You know, we do cloud. Uh, we do our cloud is specifically for SAP okay. software, um, and yours is for mobile applications. So, what are you using? I'm assuming Azure and some of that stuff. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, uh, we we use MS Azure, Amazon Services, Rackspace. Okay. So different customers require private cloud or the public right. cloud. So we basically, based on their priorities and their strategy, we help them define what might be the right solution for okay. them. And we offer them different options and let them choose based on the pricing, the high availability yes. needs, the scalability needs, and their needs. Excellent. So what were you guys ranked in the Inc. 5000? We are at once, I think 161 out of 361 software company. Nice. And uh, out of Inc. 5000, we are at 2261. So just, uh, you know what? They're getting closer to me, so I got to be careful of these guys. I'm going to have to watch them as we keep growing. Um, so tell us about some of the applications that you guys have built. <coughs> we have built uh, um, CRM, many, many enterprise CRM applications connecting okay. with Salesforce, uh, connecting with Zoho CRM and different CRM. Connecting anything with SAP CRM? Absolutely. So we have developed a lot of purchase order request applications, leave really? approval request applications. We have developed about 21 workflows on connecting to the SAP backend as well. Very nice. For different customers. In so using standard APIs and everything around that, so taking the API structure yes. and building the build the app API, connect back to the backend? Yes. So sometimes when the APIs are available on the back and we use them, sometimes when they don't have it, make it available, then we, we kind of develop web services to support that. Okay. And uh, in some cases, it's even Excel-based uh, backend where we really? plug in uh, the backend uh, connected. Excellent. So being at the Inc. 5000, is this your first time here? Yes. So mine as well. What are some of the things that have uh, been a benefit for you here? This week. Uh, some of the sessions that I had here with uh, some of the other businesses mm -hmm. were excellent, awesome. Uh, I got some ideas about how the leader should communicate with other businesses, mm -hmm. uh, employees, communicate with the external uh, vendors and customers, uh, build relationships, uh, culture. Uh, there are a lot of very valuable lessons that I got yes. uh, out of this, and uh, of course, the sessions Tony Robbins was amazing. Did we get you jumping up and down? Were you yeah, hooting and hollering? Absolutely, the... absolutely. Yes, so that was a good I, time. I definitely enjoyed that session. I learned a lot. So uh, we couldn't have the girls inside the sessions because they are closed with the Tony Robbins. But yeah, I can tell you right now, I think I dislocated my shoulder <laughs> from hearing so much. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so when you when you came here, did you have a mindset of what you thought this was going to be, and was it what it was, or was it something different? I really had no <coughs> idea what this uh, session. I, I didn't have any expectation, which was a good thing for me. I think. Good. I was. I came in with very open mind. I I looked at uh, anything that I thought might be useful. I attended the sessions. I met with a lot of other entrepreneurs, yep. which was amazing. The energy level and. Uh, uh, I'm leaving with lots and lots of energy to go back to my team and uh, to my customers to provide more value. So, um, so one of the questions I then have for Jude is we talked about a little bit about what the activities are here. What are some of the things that you and your company are doing for this that you've done in this 10 years now? And we, what are you going to do to get that? and be able to grow to that ten, in the next 10 so years, part of that 2020 years, plan. Uh, we have been investing a little bit in the R&D. Uh, the last 10 years, from the beginning, we believed in R&D. We always invested in latest technologies. Mm -hmm. And we have been investing a lot in IoT technologies and uh, cloud technologies before. And in the last two years, we have started investing in building some other frameworks, which okay. actually help us build that solution. So are you using open source frameworks the, to build a SaaS, or are you, what are you using for your framework? So we use Microsoft uh, 
uh, solution for the analytics side of it. Okay. And uh, the backend piece is built based on uh, the Node.js, the Lake okay. yeah. JavaScript, yeah. HTML5 platform. So um, we've been investing a little bit in building that, and also okay. we built a few native application frameworks for iOS and Android. Very cool. Which allow us to develop retail solutions fairly quickly and cost effectively for our customers. Okay. So we have already started the journey and we hope that it will take us to that. So here's a question. Everybody's worried about the Samsung 7. Mm -hmm. um, Google has now come out with their own phone, of course, the Pixel. Is it going to modify any of the Android back and forth? So the, the guidelines for developing applications is defined by Google. Right. And it's, it's fairly no matter which, whichever carrier it's on, no matter. Okay. It's fairly agnostic. Um, even though the resolutions matter a little bit when we come in terms of design mm -hmm. and experience, but uh, other than that, we are not expecting a lot of changes. Okay. Apart from the changes that are inherent to the Android operating system. Okay. Itself. Does Apple make a lot of changes with their uh, OS? They when do. They Actually, they keep upgrading themselves. It's, it's very important because whenever the new device hardware capabilities come, mm -hmm. it's very important for the operating systems to cope up with that okay. and uh, to be able to utilize the capabilities. So uh, we see OS upgrades every three to six months from Apple wow. and from Android and all the application needs to be up upgraded on a regular right. basis. So it's never, uh, I've developed an application, it's done, it's never like that. Okay. To utilize the capabilities and to give the best user experience, we have to keep updating. You have to keep doing that itself. We've got the same thing in SAP. We always got to continuously update, exactly. make sure that it's okay for us and our customers. Exactly. So the customers are changing, the devices are changing, yes. the operating systems are changing. So it's very important for that. Oh yes. Oh yes. So I always like to end these on uh, with a, with a fun question, and that question is, if we Googled you, which we did, and there was something, everything came up. What is the one thing that wouldn't come up on Google that, that we would want to know up. about you or your company? Interesting. Wow. <laughs> um, Maybe something back in Mumbai or Chennai. I'm sorry. Chennai. What? I have most of the information there. Oh, so you uh, put it all out in the... <laughs> there is really nothing that... I, uh, I know I, I was about to say uh, my personal life, which is I, I do a lot of meditation and yoga. Really? Uh, I love that spiritual connection, which helps me do much better with my uh, professional life. But a little bit of that is there in my LinkedIn profile as well. So. Well, <laughs> there you go. A little bit of yoga, a little bit of meditation. Yeah. He's not the first person that has told me I should get into meditation. That helps it, a lot. It'll help a lot. And it's unlike my uh, wife who thinks maybe medical marijuana might calm <laughs> me down a little bit. Maybe meditation will finally do that for me. Yeah. Well, I thank everybody. I thank you for coming in. Thank Appreciate you, you taking the time. And uh, we will definitely uh, talk to you guys at the gala tonight at the Yank 5000. Wonderful.